So here we are with episode two of Sydney's best food trucks. Like episode one, we're driving around Sydney, tasting the food trucks on the sides of the roads and seeing which ones are great, which ones are okay. Tonight we're starting at Smoky Cravings at Belmore. Then we're going to a place in Punchbowl called the Egg Hut. They make toasties. After that, we're going to Liverpool to the Big Aloha. And we're finishing off with Charo's Burgers on Canterbury Road at Canterbury. That's Oge. We're in like Food Truck Central. <laughs> that those dogs. Little wieners, remember we've done both of those in different episodes. Our first spot cars, Filipino barbecue and street food. Hello. How are ya? What do most people get? Skewers. Yeah. Give me a pork, a chicken, a lamb, intestine. Yep. A pork ear. What's something else that popular that people get? All right, get the knuckle. Thank you, and a bottle of water, please. Thank you. I honestly, I didn't know that this was like um, a place that had sus things, intestines. I don't know, I got it. They had balut, that dead bird in an egg star. Come on, relax, cuz. It's not the right show, cuz. They're doing top food trucks, right? We're not doing food tricks and stunts here, cuz. You're not getting old años lying in the gutter on the very first food truck cars, then what are we going to do about the show cars? True, the show must go on. For another episode, right? Who dares wins? Pork, beef, chicken. All right, cars, this is what it is. Beef, chicken, pork skewers, large intestines. Look at the esophagusness of it. Smells sus as, and that's the E. Oh, what? Look at it, lad. It's start off, lad. Start off on these. You got three of these sauces. They seem like a little bit of like a rice vinegar. That's what they are. <laughs> that's what they are. I know that's what they are. They've tasted every ingredient in it. Oh, anyway. Oh, beautiful. Man, skewer. Man. So this place is like Filipino barbecue, essentially. That's what it is. We've come to a Filipino barbecue. Nice man. That was the beef. This is the chicken skewer. Yum. Sweet tasting glaze, like a, like an Asian sweet taste. And that's the right prices. $3.50 a skewer. Remember before 11 bucks a skewer? What were they? 12 bucks a skewer that um what's it called? Darling Hava? Pork. Tastes very similar. Very similar to the other ones. They all, these two taste the same. The beef one's my favorite, in my opinion. Cars, here we are. We're in the first food truck, three mouthfuls of food deep, and I'm already getting experimental for you. Large intestines. It's putrid. I'll tell you what it's like. Way more mushier than, the, than those meats. It tastes like the smell that you get when you walk into the Easter show. You know that smell? And it smells like, it smells like Oriuche, what I'm saying. You know that smell when you walk into like cowboy places that stink and stuff? It tastes like that smell, cuz. Anyway, that's, that's Mutrox. Let's move on to the pig's ears, cuz. It's so soft. It's like jelly, cuz. Yuck. It's like two hard jellies on the side, but inside it's like this hard piece of rubber, like a thin, the epidermis and the intradermis. Oh! <laughs> I bit through, and it was like something in there like popped, like I broke the skin. Oh, yuck, bro. Don't get that. <laughs> That's good. Don't get these weird foods, bro. Some things are just not supposed to be eaten, cuz. Waiting on these pork knuckles, cuz. I need water. Oh, lad. Let's go, bro. Pork knuckle. Filipino style pork knuckle. You get a couple of the same sauces with it. Chili, garlic, and oil. This looks like a soy sauce. Maybe a hoisin. 
Oh, that chili's hot, lad. Oh, no. What is that? Oh, yeah, it's a soy sauce. It tastes like a lemon soy sauce. A lemon-based soy sauce. Soy sauce with lemon. Anyway, let's get into this, bro. The whole outside crispy. It's like crackling on, on the outside. It's very fatty. Pork knuckle, it feels like, look at it, it's a lot of fat. Inside there's meat, look, the meat's down here. There's just a lot of fat and a lot of skin. Cause you're around the joint, you know what I mean? I'm gonna suss that. That's gone. Well, cuz, it tastes like roast pork. A salty seasoned crackling skin, salt based flavor to the crackling on the outside. The crackling's well, a lot of fat on it. Fat has some nice flavor, but essentially it just tastes like a really nice crackled pork roast. That's a big bone, lad. What was that? From a warthog, lad. Full killer warthog. I'm gonna go for the more meaty pieces. Too much crackling, too much fat. I'm slugging a bit sus. Nah, not sus, but it's just like, all right, bro, where's the meat? That's gonna burn me hard. That's hot chili, this one. Oh, that's hectic, lad. This pork knuckle here, well, they do that hectic. The skewers? Well, nice. Pretty much expected what you just nice barbecued skewers, sweet seasoning on it, like an Asian style seasoning. Yeah, those experimental foods, absolutely putrid. If you want to get them for a joke, get them. I don't know, lad, or if it's your culture and you want to eat it, good on ya. For me, no. That pork knuckle grouse, lad. Well, mad food truck. Where are we off to? Egg hunting punch bowl. Let's go suss it out. Egg huts in the back of the Metro Servo in Punchbowl, Canterbury Road. Hosties with a twist, an excellent choice. Everyday favorites, the Istanbul, the Down Under, New York. All right, it's a gun toasty, fluffy scrambled eggs. Well, let's get a couple toasties, voila. How are you, voila? What are your three most popular toasties? Istanbul, Madrid. Oh, so they're named after places. Madrid, Berlin, and Istanbul. I want all three, please. Thank you. The Istanbul, the Madrid, and the Berlin. Let's see what's on the Istanbul. A brioche bread, cheese, parsley, sujuk, tomato, mayonnaise, garlic, aioli. All right. The Berlin chicken schnitzel, toasted brioche bread, coleslaw, cheese, parsley, and garlic aioli. Hey, I'm liking this. I presume the Madrid's gonna have chorizo. I didn't look, I swear. It does, I can see it now. That's fluffy scrambled eggs, toasted brioche bread, cheese parsley, chorizo, beef rashes, smoky barbecue sauce. I like this concept. So, scrambled egg toasties, and they're named after different parts of the world, and they give the appropriate ingredients. The Istanbul, Turkey, Sujuk. The Madrid, chorizo, beef rashes. Like, I like the concept, cuz. Thanks, brother. Well, look at the presentation on these toasties, cuz. Bro, look how chunkos they are, lad. Ew, chai. All right, this is the schnitzel one. This is the Berlin. This is the one with sujuk. This is the Istanbul. Yum. This one covered in barbecue sauce with the beef rashes and the chorizo is the Madrid, cuz. We'll finish with the Madrid, El Spanos, lad. You know, flying in all the way from El Toledo. But let's go. Cuz they're solid, I'll tell you that. Bro, the bread, far out. It's soft as Chris. It's like French toast, lad. Oh, Ladski. Well, that aioli is beautiful, bro. There's a nice, sharp garlic taste to it. Hectic. Egg schnitzel. Fresh lettuce, coleslaw, aioli. Well. Just the size of this thing. Well, that's a feed cuz. One of these is, you're done. I couldn't imagine someone eating two of these, I swear. Look at the size of it. They're fat. It's bigger than a burger. Like, it's hard to get my mouth around it. I want to bring this schnitzel out. So I have the schnitzel, lad. It's a nice schnitzel. 
Papa, ti kem se thun. O zëna, em da bala asaj gjausnit su. Dhe iste e mbum. Cheese, parsley, sujuk, egg, aioli. E staj si sujuk. Of course the sujuk's hectic, cuz we're in punch bowl, the corner of punch bowl right. If they serve a bungee sujuk, everyone's gonna say the sujuk's bungee. The sujuk is not, the sujuk is lovely, lad. Oh, lad, that's hectic. Look at that, cuz. There's tomato on there too, I forgot to, I forgot to say. Lad, no. Oh. They don't hold back, do they? These things are huge! I feel like I had four bites of it. Look, it's only taken the top corner of the sandwich off. The rest of it's here. Alright, now we're up to the old Anjos Madrid styles, all the way from Salado. Bacon Russia. Chorizo. Chorizo is legit. Well. I think this is halal. The chorizo is gone, but it doesn't taste like pork chorizo. It tastes like, I think it's a halal chorizo. Mm. Regardless, it's still cracker. But they're all hectic. The Istanbul is my favorite out of those ones. That Istanbul, well, well. I want to know if that, if the Madrid, if that's halal. Brother, you know the Madrid, it, that's halal, mate? Yeah. yeah, 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 I knew it, I knew it yesterday. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, it is. It is halal. No, I don't care. I'm just, I'm just like, it doesn't concern me. It's just that I could taste that it was halal, mate, you know? Well, this place is hectic, lad. <laughs> yeah. I love the fact that it's on like a big fluffy French toast and they all have egg on it. But, bro, like, you don't even really notice the eggs there. It's disguised, the flavors are mad. This place is hectic. That's okay. Alright, we're at the big Aloha food truck in Liverpool, cuz. We're in the middle of Liverpool, look at it, look at the, look at the buildings. That's the CBD of Liverpool, the big Aloha truck, smack bang. And I need a coffee too. Let's go. Slow cooked pork burger, we're getting that. Garlic fried chicken. That's it, we're on cuz. The Aloha Urga Bay in the middle of Liverpool, the Soge. Hey, how are ya? Hey, hey. Can I get the slow cooked pork burger, please? And a garlic fried chicken, please. Thank you. And a bottle of water, please. Can I get the Hawaiian punch as well? I didn't say there was a Hawaiian drink. Hawaiian, we've also got Ulai. Yeah? It's the um, Hongan like, fruit smoothie. What, what's it called again? Otai. Oh, Otai? Yeah. yeah, yeah, Like by Maleni? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't know what you were saying, sorry. <laughs> Yum. Yeah, yeah. So you got Maleni there, you got the mango. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hectic, hectic. All right, beautiful. Thank you. Oh, you got the watermelon one? Yeah. Yes. Otai, lad. I didn't know they had it. Both by Maleni and Otai. Watermelon one, and then there's the like the mango peach one. I like the watermelon one. I'm not gonna lie. I love the watermelon one. What are you talking about, cuz? If you haven't had this, this is like Pacific Islander drinks. It's like creamy, milky, but fruit juice in it. It's like fruit juice and milk, but iced. You know what I mean? It's hectic. All right, man. Yep. Kiwi mayo, teriyaki yep. sauce, and rice, and then the seaweed wrapped around. All right, man. Thank you. Thank you, eh? Bye. We're doing ghetto styles here. Don't get me wrong, I would have loved to eat there, but when you're doing a food review show and the music's blasting, it doesn't really work out that good, you know what I mean? Plus the music's copyright music, so you're getting background information in conducting a YouTube channel, right? So I can't do the review there. So we're doing the review on the on the car bonnet, old school and your styles, mate. What do we got here? What are these, lad? Oh, these are the shrimps. So you're talking about little pawns. Oh, yum. Oh. Relax. Let's get all the food out first. <laughs> all right. That's the pulled pork burger. Well. 
Well, well, that. That pineapple? I know it's Hawaiian food, this and that, pineapple, you have to... Alright, all right, I'm gonna leave it on, I'm gonna leave it on. I was gonna say, pineapple's getting launched, cuz. I can't call pineapple, but you gotta do it, cuz. Cuz, they put me extra stuff. What's this? This is that, cuz. They put me sushi, and they put me two of everything. They gave me sushi, so it's like, it's like a sushi, but spam, cuz. The spam and mayo, this, that. I love Islander food, cuz. Oh, here's the crispy, the crispy chicken, lad. Stop! I don't know exactly what the name is. I can tell they're pawns. Oh, oh. They're gone. These pawns are gone. Crispy, sweet. What is that Asian? That's what it tastes like. It's got on it, like sriracha mayo. Yeah, happy. Let's try this spam sushi. Bro, there's just... They're so solid, <laughs> so solid. That's half of my stomach. <laughs> I'm gonna take a bite, cuz. All right, I like spam. Most people don't like spam. I was in a jail cell once with my Vietnamese mate. He always would eat fried spam on rice. I'm like, bruh. And then I ate it once and I see it, cuz I got a little soft spot for fried spam on rice, which is what that is. Let's try out this fried chicken, actually. Hawaiian punch. Hawaiian punch, eh? Hawaiian punch soft drink. I'll tell you what it tastes like. All right, I'm, I'm very happy that it's a very weak drink. You expect this to taste like you're sucking on straight lollies. It's actually very palatable. There's barely any fizz in it. It's a really mellow drink. It's, it's like a light flavored cordial. You know what flavor it has? It has that very cherry flavor. It's sort of like a mixture between orange juice and very cherry. It's okay. Let's get the, the, the fried chicken. This looks gone. Very crispy. Oh, no bones. That's chicken thighs, it's chicken fillets. A sweet soy. Soy, salty, sticky, with a sweet taste. Very Asian inspired flavors. Asian inspired flavors on everything I've had so far. I don't think she gave me an old spoon a roux. We're missing a fork and missing a spoon. Reason why I want to taste this pasta. I'm going to eat it with my fingers. Cold pasta salad. Nice, it's mellow. And pepper sauce, like a pepper mayo. And the coleslaw is. Oh, the coleslaw is gone. Tangy. Tangy coleslaw, that's a good contrast. That's a good contrast, I'm very happy with that. The piece de resistance. Here we go. There's pulled pork overflowing off the edge. Let's try this, cuz. Brioche, buns, coleslaw. Look, if I bite it and I go, oh, it's cause of the pineapple. It's, that doesn't mean the burger's bad. I hate cooked pineapple. But it's the big aloha, cuz, and it ain't even Hawaiian if they ain't pineapple on her. So, old Anyos is taking one for the team. All I taste of is pineapple, I can't cop it. Let me take, let me try it again with the pineapple. That pulled pork's done, man. Let me taste this slaw. Yeah, the, the slaw's done with care. That's good. Very Asian inspired again. Just imagine an Asian hot food store where the servings are bigger and it's like heartier, <laughs> like hearty Asian food. That's literally what it is. I couldn't explain it another way. Yeah, cuz, we're talking about cars. Don't quote to me exactly. It's like milk cream, maybe a tiny bit of coconut cream, I'm not sure. I know there's shredded coconut. I know there's um, watermelon, both pulp and juice in here and some seeds uh, and, and milk and ice. That's how you make it. It's, it's gun cars. Oh, yeah, bro. Cause if I live near here, I'm telling ya, me and my missus, my sister, we would come here every night of the week just to get Vimalenis or Ortiz. Just come and get these and walk with one each. This is hectic, cuz. Look, it's full thick of bits, look. The whole thing is thick, shredded coconut. It's like watermelon juice, but you're chewing like shredded coconut. It's like the inside of a bounty, but in like ice cold milk. 
is well I love this drink. This is one of the best drinks on earth. Because that's gun. Well, wow, gun. The big aloha. Hey, eh? lovely. The middle of Liverpool. Last destination, Charros, Canterbury Road, Canterbury. Let's go. I'm dying. This job's harder than you think, man. I'm telling you. Charo's Burgers. Look at this. You get the Charo Special. I get one chicken and one beef. Charo Special. Beef patty, lettuce, American cheese, fried onion, beef rasher, pickles, tomato. Special Charo sauce. Like a standard hearty beef burger. And the peri fried, fried crispy chicken, American cheese, jalapenos, beef rashes, peri peri sauce. All right, a chicken and beef. That's what we'll get, eh? Wait, so they've got a load of fries here too. We'll get their fries, eh? We'll get their load of fries. Oh yeah. Can I get the Charo special burger? A peri fried burger by itself and the loaded fries, please. Bring out the peri fried. Beautiful load of fries. Thank you. Beautiful. That's the charo special. All right, thank you, brother. The charo special, the peri chicken burger, the loaded fries. What do we start on? Start on the peri chicken burger, cuz. What's on here? Well, thing. All right, there's the jalapenos. For one second, my heart skipped a beat. I lifted everything up, I thought there was no jalapenos. It would have been negative review straight away, but they're there. Chicken. What is this? It's halal food, so it would be like a beef rasher, and like a bacon replica. So it's chicken and bacon, but beef rasher halal style. Let's go. And man, chicken is like a Although I thought it would be like, it's like Portuguese style, but it's not. It's sort of like a more American style, Southern style chicken, but jalapenos and the beef rasher. It's a unique combination. Oh, I thought they didn't have a flavor. They got strong flavor and they're hot. That's a unique combination though. American style, I expected it to be like Portuguese style. Nice, it's a hearty burger. I feel like the, the the buns are a bit, just tonight, a bit tough. Look at like it like broke in half, like it's just, it wasn't quite fresh. That's lovely, but that's a sweet pickle. Strong sweet pickle at the bottom with a Nice beef patty. Let me taste this beef. Decent beef. Pretty, pretty standard like beef burger. Exactly what you think it's gonna taste like. I really feel like the freshness of the bread got in the way heavily of these two burgers straight off the bat. It's sort of hard to get past it. Load of fries, cars. All right. Stank mayonnaise, barbecue sauce, melted shredded cheese on thin cut chips. It's all right. They go all right, they go all right. Oh my God, I'll give you my review. I'll tell you what I didn't want to do then. There was a couple of people next to me ordering. They looked excited to be here. I didn't want to be disrespectful and in front of them while they're ordering the food, talk about how much I don't like the food. I find that disrespectful, all right? So I'll keep my opinion over here with other customers can't hear. The bread was dry, it was brittle. Even when I handled the burger, a, a, one of the buns split directly down the middle. That's hard for me to get past. It's hard to get past that point. The rest of, the, the rest of it was decent. It was just, it was average. There was nothing wrong with the rest of it, okay? It was average, nothing stood out. It was an average beef burger, it was an average chicken burger. Probably would have been better if it was like Portuguese style, but it was like Southern fried style mixed with the trying to be Portuguese flavor. But they were okay. The load of fries were okay. Yeah, that one's pretty standard. Anyway, that's the four food trucks. What stood out to me, cuz? The smoky cravings, 
it's just straight Filipino barbecue. I'll tell you what my opinion is here. When you have a food truck, a food truck is your, your, your time to be fun. Your time to do like, I do this, but I do it in this way. And I have like, and that's, oh, I was mad, you know? Uh, even though Smoky Cravings was good food, it was just very standard. It's like we put meat on a barbecue and serve it to you. But that's good if that's what you want. To me, it was a bit boring. Egg heart, wow. See, that's what I love, cuz. So they got this concept, we'll do toasties, but like burger style toasties on thick, nice bread, all with egg, right? And then we'll name different cities is that the different condiments and the different meats we put with it. I love that concept. And they were all gone. That Istanbul one, wow, cuz. Then we went to Big Aloha's, that was mad. You know, I got a soft spot for Islander food. That was different to Islander food though. That wasn't quite Islander food. That was like Islander, semi-Asian inspired takeaway food, like burgers and like things, sort of like that. Experimenting with Polynesian slash Asian flavors. I wouldn't call that Polynesian food, but it was still good. And this one was average, cause this one is close to where I live. This one is like, if you're hungry and you drive past it, stop and get it, there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, cuz, but that's it, cuz. That's part two, Sydney's top food trucks. Let's urge, cuz. Part three coming soon.